The 2024 Subaru Forester is $600 more than the 2023 equivalent. And now in the 2024 Subaru Crosstrek, it just received a mid model year price increase by $200. Now, granted, in the grand scheme of things, those adjustments are not that big. Most people won't even notice that at all. But this gives us a great opportunity to talk about new Subaru pricing right now how it is in the middle of October 2023 and what you can expect moving forward. There may also be a way to avoid the price adjustments on either of these models. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later in this video today, so stick around for that. If you are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subarus. If you like those types of videos, consider clicking that subscribe button down below. And if you guys learn something new and get value out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button. That helps me out a ton and helps share this video with more people here on YouTube. In front of me, I have the only available Subaru Forester. Now, this is nothing new. This is what we've been experiencing for the last couple of years now. The Forester has been one of the hardest Subaru models to get. It's manufactured exclusively at our Japanese plant. And so it's a lot harder to get these to the States than some of our other models like the Outbacks and the Legacies and, and vehicles that are produced at the Lafayette, Indiana plant. Let's look at the price on this. This is a 2023 Subaru Forester Premium. The MSRP is $32,465. So if you look at the exact same build on a 2024 equivalent, so same trim level, same accessories, it is going to be $600 more than that. So it's just gonna be just above $33,000. So like I said, not a big adjustment, but that is what you would expect to see on a 2024 Subaru Forester, which if you were curious, the 23 and the 24 on the Forester model are identical. There are no changes. We're not expecting to see changes for that until the 25 model year. Now you might be curious to know, well, what price can I actually get this for? Because yes, here's the window sticker, here's the build, here's the MSRP, but you know, I don't wanna pay MSRP. What can I get for this particular car? Well, that really comes down to, and I've said this a lot on my channel, it comes down to the particular model you're looking at and how that car sells in the market. If there's a lot of demand for that car and it doesn't, if there's no inventory or very little inventory, it's going to be very tough to get that below the MSRP. And unfortunately, as you have seen over the years, there's dealers that have this window sticker and then they have an addendum or something down here showing a market adjustment. So there's some dealerships that have gotten away with selling the vehicle above the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Now we have never sold our new Subarus above MSRP. And that is one reason why we have continuously month after month sold out of our inventory. And when you look at the Subaru Forester specifically, it is among one of the highest in demand. And so that's why you're going, it's less likely, at least right now, how it is to see discounts off of MSRP. Now, certainly if you find a dealership that is eager to let that one go for less than market value, then by all means, jump on it. If you are looking for a discount on a Subaru Forester specifically, maybe you're perfectly okay with taking a 2023 model. If that's the case, which I would argue because of the same, that's probably the better route to go. If that's the case, then you can save yourself the equivalent of about $600 by going with this instead. Now the downside with choosing amongst the remaining inventory is that maybe it's in the color or the trim level that you don't want. Maybe you'd rather have a red one. And if that's the case, then you're going to find yourself in a position where you're most likely going to have to special order the Subaru you want. But Subaru does make it really easy for us out of probably all the OEMs that I've dealt with in the past. Subaru makes it the easiest by far to place an order for the exact color and the exact trim level you want. So if you do place an order right now for a Subaru Forester, they've stopped production on the 23s. So you will be getting the 2024. Yes, you'll pay a little bit more for it, but you're going to get exactly what you want if you go that route. I also mentioned that our 2024 Subaru Crosstrex are about to get a mid model year price increase. Well, what is that? So when it changed from 2023 to 2024, the Subaru Crosstrek, and this happens for all uh, models and all manufacturers, they usually increase the price each year as, as things get more expensive, unfortunately. Well, 
with the 2024 Crosstrek specifically, they are doing a mid model year price increase. So this car was ordered before that increase. And so the MSRP with the options that are on it is 34,645. This one has a trailer hitch and it is the, the top trim for the Crosstrek. So it is a, a uh, the wilderness trim. It's new for this model year. We are getting ready to see that $200 increase in price that has not taken in effect yet. If you want to avoid that slight bump in the MSRP, then you would want to order your 2024 cross track on or before november 19th so that's whenever it's going to take an effect or you can choose amongst your dealerships remaining 2024 subaru cross track inventory those won't see that increase yet either because they are already to the dealer lots now speaking of getting a 2024 subaru cross track it is going to be tough there's not a lot of the cross track inventory because much like our subaru foresters these are in very high demand. So right now the, the Crosstrek and the Forester are the most popular Subaru models. And with that, you're going to see less options, less inventory, more than likely, you're going to have to do a special order to get one. And therefore, unfortunately, on these two particular models, you probably won't see a discount off of MSRP, at least not anytime soon. Now, let's look at some of the other Subaru models. Let's talk about pricing and maybe some areas where you might see some discounts on different Subaru models. The Subaru I'm getting ready to show you is by far probably the easiest one to get a discount off of MSRP right now. And that is the Subaru Legacy. It is a great car. It's actually built on the same platform of the Subaru Outback, which is a, still an incredibly popular car, but it's a four-door sedan. And a lot of people really want the midsize SUVs right now. So this one is a premium trim. So it has the cloth interior with the heated seats and it has all the safety equipment with the blind spot indicators, it even has a moonroof. So you have some added options. It is $31,000. $35. Now, this is a vehicle that doesn't, it doesn't have high sales volume for Subaru. And so it's very likely that if you find one of these on a dealership's lot and you're really interested in it, you could probably work out a deal where you could probably get it below that price. Now, it's obviously subject to the individual dealership that you work with, but if you're looking for getting a discount below MSRP right now in this market with the demand we've seen, this is the model to do it on. Next on the list that I would say is probably the, the second easiest Subaru to get a discount off of right now is the Subaru Ascent. So this is the, it's actually the same trim level as what we just looked at with the Legacy. It's the premium trim, has the cloth interior with heated seats. And the way this one is built out, it is $40,159. This is our highest price Subaru model. It has third row seating has 5,000 pounds towing capabilities on all but the base trim level. So this one has a little bit more going on. And if you really need a third row seat vehicle, this might be the option to go for. Again, this one's not going to be as in high of demand as like our Subaru Outbacks, the Crosstreks and the Foresters. And so therefore you might see an opportunity for a discount off of this one. The entry level Subaru is the Impreza. This car has been around for many generations now. It is the lowest priced Subaru. And if you wanna see what the price of this one is, or at least what the window sticker is, this is a base trim level Subaru Impreza hatchback. It only comes in a hatchback now and the price is $24,085. So this is, this is actually built on the same platform as the Subaru Crosstrek. When you look at the body, you'll notice a lot of similarities in the body lines, the size, the shape, and all the characteristics, even on the inside. If you look on the inside, this has the exact same interior design as the Crosstrek. It just sits lower to the ground. So, and it still has your all wheel drive system and the eyesight safety technology for the forward pre collision safety system. So, if you're looking for something that has all of the great qualities as some of our other Subaru models, but you don't want to have to pay a high price tag, look at the Subaru Impreza. Now, we've looked at all the other models. We've talked about how do they how do they look in the market? How's the price? Is there an opportunity to get a discount? Well, just like the other ones, you gotta look at how many are on the lot and that will tell you if there is a lot of demand. Now, how many available? So like this one, for example, is sold. 
We have one over there and then I think we have one in the showroom. But as I mentioned before, there's a lot of demand. It's likely or it's less likely that you are going to see a discount off of MSRP. And also on your base trim level, Subarus, there's not a lot of markup between what the dealership gets this car for and what they actually sell it for. So on a base trim, it's probably even less likely to see much of a, a difference in price, but look out for your local retailer's inventory. If they have a ton of these Imprezas and they're not moving them, they're not sold, then that might give you an opportunity to ask for that discount to negotiate off of MSRP. I hope this video has given you guys some insight and some helpful tips to look out for when you are looking at your new Subaru. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave those down in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, be sure to click that like button if you enjoyed today's video. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.